Senator, Senator Alan Repke with Inform TV in Alexandria, Minnesota. And uh, yeah. uh, we were told we were going to get some uh, relief for the super big farms as far as crop insurance subsidies. Here in Minnesota, Leroy Stamer's boys, Mike, Jeff, and Dale reportedly farm about 80,000 acres if you combine their operations, uh, and which mean they would be receiving annually over $2 million in crop insurance subsidies. Uh, and uh, today we had the, the Dowson uh, uh, Farm Operation Illinois just gave back uh, $5 million in direct payments from the 2002 Farm Bill. Is there any way you can see that uh, uh, the taxpayer can see what the super large operations or large operations in general are receiving from uh, um, crop insurance subsidies? The reported Mike Stamer alone gets a million dollars a year and under this uh, uh, 959 page bill that I pretty well skimmed through uh, they will continue to have that kind of advantage over the small farmer for the next five years. Any thoughts on that or any way we can disclose sure. what these big guys are getting? Sure. Uh, as I said, this wasn't the perfect bill. And in order to get the conservation compliance, we, those of us who care about that made some, uh, you know, th this, this bill that came out of conference is different than what we passed in the Senate. And we put some limits on the very things you're talking about uh, in the Senate bill, and that was very bipartisan. Um, but we were dealing with a House that had uh, really delayed this thing for well over a year and a half. And so, yeah, I'm not terribly happy about some of the, um, some of those provisions going that were in the in the Senate bill. Uh, I mean, you have to remember, even if someone has eighty thousand acres, that they're they're farming. That's eighty thousand uh, acres that um, you know that they're going to need crop insurance on. But the taxpayer doesn't and need to we had put insure a limit that. On, I'm, I'm sorry, but we, we we had put a limit on on that in the Senate bill. And uh, but the fact of the matter is is that uh, when you're planting, if if you lose your crop, you're losing your crop. And I had, you know, felt that we should lower the percentage on anything of $150,000 of net of uh, gross income, uh, well, gross adjusted income, and gross adjusted, and uh, that went by the wayside. And I had been a very strong advocate of that, so I, I understand your, um, uh, your your point. Very strong, not very well. Okay. okay, what what I was getting at, I'm not against uh, Leroy Stamer's boys farming big, it's free country, but I don't think the taxpayer has to give them uh, uh, split up a couple million dollars to see that they're protected. Uh, uh, farm policy was set up for little people. I, I understand, and, and with all due respect, but I, I really did think I addressed that in my answer. Okay, thank you. You're watching Inform TV, Alexandria, Minnesota. So I think Senator, I got a quick question. question. Yes, yeah, Senator, a follow-up, Alan Repke, Inform TV, a follow-up on the sugar issue. Uh, the no-cost program suddenly cost the taxpayer $260 million, yet I see nothing in this farm bill that addresses the fact that uh, Mexico has unlimited access to our market, and there was nothing put in to see that when the cane growers don't produce their quota, the, the, the beet sugar people can put uh, their product in to, to match it. Uh, some of this forfeited sugar, 70 million pounds, went to feed honeybees now. Uh, 90 million pounds went to feed livestock. So I hope you can address some of those shortcomings in sugar for our sugar industry here in Minnesota. Well, I mean, uh, those are, <laughs> um, unfortunately, NAFTA has this provision, so yes, there's a lot of sugar coming in from Mexico, and as a result, the price of sugar has gone down, and there are some protections uh, for it going falling below a certain um, price, and that's what happened. It has happened for the first time, actually, and uh, our hope is that the price goes back up. But we, um, uh, you know, we will we'll have to see what happens in. Uh, next year. 
Thank you, Senator. Stop okay. in Alexandria. Okay.